Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. After the completion of the series of cardiac poison, now let us discuss about the vegetable poisons. We will begin with resinous communis or castor. Okay, I would request you to please ignore the sound of rain in case you are able to hear it. Uh, it's raining heavily in my city. And of course, I have to record the video like this for you. So, okay, you must ignore the sound of rain the way I am doing. And I am constantly trying to keep myself, you know, away from the distraction. Okay, anyways. So, we will discuss about active principles, properties, signs, symptoms, fatal dose and everything which is mentioned here. Fine. These are the seeds of resinous communis. And trust me, they are the most poisonous thing that is found in the plants. These are the beautiful leaves of the resinous communis. And... Now, what can be the reason behind this name, you know, ricinus or ricinus, whatsoever it may be. It is derived from a Latin word. Latin is a dead language. I hope you know this. Which means tick. Tick is basically an insect. Okay. And this plant is named so because the seed of ricinus communis resembles um, tick. The tick that are found in the European continent okay the castor bean is basically an evergreen herbaceous plant plant is uh, known to be evergreen if it remains green and uh, is functional throughout the year okay such plants are known as evergreen plants if we talk about it botanically it is a semi woody herb oh sorry shrub and it is a small tree what is a shrub obviously a small tree shrub is oftenly taller than herb but it is smaller than the actual tree so if we talk about the distribution it grows all over the India especially in Westlands as you can look here the seeds are flat in shape and they appear smooth you know their shape varies depends upon location depends upon the plant they are often light and uh, they have dark brown markings as you can see here there are presence of some dark brown marking they look bright they look po uh, polished but yeah you know they are poisonous they can be bigger in size or can be smaller as well fine now if we talk about the active principle of resinous communis okay first of all you must know that seeds are the most poisonous portion of the entire plant However, the entire plant is poisonous. It contains toxalbumin ricin, which is a water soluble glycoprotein, and uh, it is a powerful allergen as well. It can cause allergic reaction in the body of the patient, but however, as I have already told you, seed contain the highest level of toxalbumin, hence, they are the most poisonous portion of the entire plant fine they are also rich in purgative oil castor oil is not poisonous you can uh, you must have encountered the cases in newspaper as well you know where this castor seeds are used as a poison but castor oil is not mostly used as a poison there are several uses of ca uh, castor oil like castor oil is also used to cure constipation and uh, also for skin moisturization okay so castor oil is not poisonous but seed seed is uh, oftenly poisonous and the unbroken seed are not poisonous when it is cooked or when it is swallowed means toxicity is mostly observed when the seed in its purest form not broken not in the form of oil so the case is where this bean this castor bean or the seeds of the castor are thoroughly chewed yeah for blenderized so in this cases you can encounter the poisonous nature of the castor but in case the seeds are already broken before chewing it before swallowing it so in such cases poisonous nature of seed may not be observed fine now if we talk about the mode of action of resinous communis what happens when the 
beans of rice and are swallowed it automatically blocks the synthesis of protein now how by blocking the rna polymerase in case you are aware with the molecular biology you must know that rna polymerase is responsible for synthesis of protein so if the action of rna polymerase is blocked there is no scope for synthesis of protein fine so we can say that uh, it belongs to the a class of poisons of ab poisons or ab toxins ricin has an extremely wonderful protein binding capacity so it gains access to the endoplasmic reticulum er endoplasmic reticulum has protein in the git mucosa cell and it often causes diarrhea see isn't it ironic the castor oil is used to cure diarrhea whereas the ricin when present in poisonous form when consumed the seed of ricin when consumed they cause diarrhea so the ricin the castor oil can be used to cure diarrhea but the seeds of ricin when consumed when they start showing the toxic form they cause diarrhea when we talk about the sign and symptoms it shows watery eyes you know somewhat like that of the cold most of the symptom here resemble the symptoms of common cold let us have a look how it shows watery eyes and the nasal inflammation along with sneezing headache and bronchitis with upset gastric and skin infections you know dermatitis the rashes and followed by series of such events so these are the common signs and symptoms now fatal dose oral exposure is often less toxic whereas lethal dose is about 2 mg per kg per kg means the uh, per kg weight of the body of the person okay so fatal period last from 3 to 5 days and the treatment there is no such antidote available for the treatment of um, ricin poison unfortunately but vaccine was invented back then by us military people thankfully you know <laughs> however suspected ricin inhalation or exposure to the powdered form of ricin can also be cured by removing the cloth of the person by uh, washing the skin of the person with water these are some of the preliminary treatment that you can give to the person before the arrival of actual medical expert furthermore in case of ingestion gastric lavage can be helpful however emetics and emulsants can also be administered to the patient administration of glucose and saline can be used for dehydration as it is already told that it often causes diarrhea so diarrhea in case a patient is suffering from diarrhea often you may encounter that dehydration attacks their body so, and 2 to 5 g of sodium bicarbonate can be given for 8 hours via mouth to alkalinize the urine then blood transfusion can be done in some patient however this case is quite rare fine the post mortem finding often show congested gastrointestinal tract the mucosa that is present in our gastro gastrointestinal tract is often congested or there can be softening along with inflammation some occasional erosions and hemorrhages can also be seen in the some mucosa level whereas the fragment of seed seeds are very poisonous and rice and i am repeating it again and again fine so the fragment of seed can be found their residues can be found in the stomach and gastrointestinal tract of the patient now accidental poison may occur in children rarely powdered seed are given for homicide it is rarely used for homicide it is clearly saying that but it is often encountered that accidental poisoning cases occur uh, when we deal with children for the powder form of seeds cause conjunctivitis if mistakenly or knowingly applied to the eyes of the person ricin is commonly 
uh, used as a part of immunotoxin for clinical tumor research and therapy as well so apart from its numerous toxic effects there is something good there is something which you can praise ricin for obviously and one more matter of fact that is related to ricin this toxin is linked to the terrorist activity among anti-national government militant which were formed in US okay and Al Qaeda this whole case was encountered in Bulgaria in 1978 so this was just a quick fact which might not be of much use for you however you must know it you know it is essential to enhance your general knowledge so this is it for the day i hope you have liked the lecture you have already subscribed to my channel you know and this was an absolutely amazing lecture i believe i personally feel that so we'll discuss about more vegetable poisons